everybody. It's about 7.40 this morning. Uh, as always, you already know who it is. Targeted individual CJBK. And, uh, well, this is like the third time I'm posting today. Or this morning, rather. Yeah, so, uh, there's my keys. But, um, yeah. They're going for the gusto, I believe. They're going for the gusto. They're using their magnetic um, energy waves to do something to either my um, my uh, frontal or motor cortex. I'm using this magnet here, right? Because that's the exact spot from which, that's the exact spot from where I'm feeling the pressure come from. When I take the magnet off, when I take the magnet off, it's like my brain is being pressed against my skull or like something is pulling at it. Um, and, you know, I'm not an unhealthy person. Do I smoke from time to time? Yes. Do I drink from time to time? Yes. Am I physically active? Yes. Do I eat healthy all the time? No. But I don't have or never had any type of pre-existing health conditions before all of this targeting. So remember, my targeting started September of 20... I'm going to say when I first moved in this building. So September 2019. You know, so I've never had no pre-existing conditions prior to that. That date. So I'm going to try to see if I can get me a doctor's appointment. And hopefully I get a, a honest... Um, hopefully I get an honest uh, report done. But for the most part... These uh, gang stalkers, these electronic harassers, they're all going for the gusto because I'm, I'm learning too much about technology. So what are they going to do? They're probably going to try. They're probably giving me brain cancer. Um, started out listening to a sequence on the Z app. It's a frequency generator app. And... Um, they were attacking my thyroid first. They was attacking my thyroid. Like most of the time they, they attack it every now and then. But yesterday they were attacking my thyroid all day, all day. Didn't really get a chance to listen to the uh, thyroid uh, regulation and regeneration um, frequency. But yeah, that pressure right here it's like right up here, like right where that magnet is at, you know, and if you know about Qigong, right, if you know about Qi, like your body's own natural energy, I could actually, I alleviate some of that pressure when I actually focus my Qi on that area, and then it's like, it literally goes away, like that, that pressure goes away, but then as that pressure goes away, my hand my hand picks up a tremendous amount of heat, not just in the palm, but on the back side of my hand. So it's like, I already know. And it's always, it's always, they're always attacking on this right side. It's always the right side. It's never really on the left. It's always the right. And then the angle from which it always comes, it always comes at like an angle like this. And then whenever I try to look, right? The only thing, the only thing that I can gather from this, okay, now, 
you see there are well in between let me see i don't think you could really see it but in that middle building on the top you could probably see that there are cell towers right there's cell towers there and then you know when i use the architecture radio app um architecture of radio it basically displays every single um cell tower whether it's um known uh, whether it's a uh, privately or publicly owned uh it will come up as an unknown carrier or something of that sort but um yeah so there are numerous unknown cell towers in this area and we're talking within, within, you know, within a thousand meters or so. There are numerous, you know, unknown carrier cell phone towers over here. Then uh, it also displays satellites and um, Wi-Fi routers. All these things can equally be used to... Uh, well, harass someone or to transmit uh, data or frequencies, transmit frequencies really to a human being. And, you know, if they have your resonating biofrequency, they can focus the transmissions of whatever they want directly to you and only you because the attacks are based on your resonating frequencies, your DNA biological resonating frequency, you know. So, um, yeah, that's what I'm dealing with, right? You know, I'm dealing with people who are calling themselves a secret society. And their whole thing is to basically try to harass people into joining. Well, no, they're extorting people into doing what they want, right? They want me to become a police officer. I don't want to become a police officer. Not that I don't have any, that, not that I have anything against cops. I just don't want to become a police officer. I'll probably do in something else. I don't want to become a police officer. But they're telling me I don't have a choice. I'm like, they're like, you got to do what we say or else, you know, your privacy is over. All your, your memory, your thoughts, everything that you know, we have it. We have your memory card, blah, blah, blah. You know, so I'm just like, well, fuck it. Because I'm still, I don't, I'm not a follower. I'm not a follower, never will be. And I'll be damned by the age of 32, I'm going to let somebody bully me into something because they said so and because they threatened my life or whatever. Nah. And then on top of that, they're, <laughs> they're, they're, they're doing it in secrecy, like they're hiding. So it's, so it's as if I can't even defend myself in a way. But God willing, <laughs> there's always a way to defend yourself. And God is the only one that can take me out or allow someone to take me out in this world. Just like he allowed Jesus, you know, allowed the world to take Jesus out, you know. <laughs> but Jesus was resurrected. <laughs> and that's the, that's the beautiful part about it. And I already know that if I die or should any harm come to me, I will be the catalyst to something much, much worse than what any of these gang stalkers are, are thinking that they're gonna get away with. I will be my death, whatever happens to me, and I'm speaking on it, I'm putting that out into the universe, whatever happens to me will be the worst thing that will ever come for them. And I wholeheartedly believe that. 
Because I know for a fact that I'm one of God's chosen children. I know for a fact. You know. And I know that for me to come in to the knowledge and understanding of so much so quickly, so fast. I know that no matter what happens to me, especially if someone does it unto me, it's a wrap for everybody. It's a wrap. I mean, I've already seen so many other moving parts to this that's not being reported on the news, per se. I've already seen the movements. I've already acknowledged the, the fact that all these different, you know, first world countries are are moving in on this 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 technology of direct energy weapons and frequencies and stuff like that. All these countries are moving in on it. And you know, just as the natural history of humanity and weapons and crimes, when one gets some type of advancement and they progress into whatever that they're doing, the other follows right along behind it. So for every weapon that's designed, there is a defense that is designed against that weapon. You know, just think about the bulletproof vest. Think about, you know, metal shields and stuff back when they were using swords and arrows and stuff like that. There's always a defense. Just like how recently on the news, or at least on mine, um, um, companies are developing um, flexible material called Mexine, uh, M-X-E-N-E, and they're using that to actually absorb or deflect um, microwave energy waves or microwaves. So, like I said, regardless of what happens to me, I already know God got me. God already got me. So regardless of what happens to me, as it says in the Bible, cursed be he who killeth thy neighbor in secrecy, and all the people shall say amen. Cursed be he who seeks reward for shedding innocent blood, and all the people shall say amen. Yeah. So, yeah. Just wanted to point that out. You know, I know a lot of TIs complain that they have headaches and stuff. So um, what I'm doing is I'm using this here um, magnet to alleviate some of that pressure because I know it's come. It's like micro. It's a electromagnetic energy. It's like a type of magnetic energy that's coming from. I'm not exactly sure if it's coming from directly upstairs, but I'm pretty sure that they're involved too because they have that tendency to drop stuff on the floor right above my head to see if they could get the whole heterodyne thing going. You know, um, and then between that, then there's the the moments where if I don't turn the um, the water off to my toilet, they'll create that flushing sound. The water doesn't actually flush, but it's like, it's like they tap, it's almost like they tap the, uh, uh, they use, it's like they use a, uh, uh, a microwave or something to tap the pump that creates that, that sound, like the toilet just finished flushing. And if not that, I even close my door at times too, because what they'll do is they'll knock on the bathroom wall upstairs they'll knock i'm not sure if it's no i'm not sure if it's next door or upstairs they'll knock on the bathroom wall two times it'll sound like just like that and it's just distracting enough that it will help them do the heterodyne you know it, it'll it'll break my concentration just enough so that they can be able to you know transmit uh, the signal directly into my brain. I guess that's how it works. 
But yeah, um, I just had to document that because, you know, when I woke up for the third time, um, I was just like, yo, my body, my head. So I said, you know what? Let me go online and do a little quick research on what part of the brain that they're trying to hit. And, uh, and it's it's definitely the um, probably parietal frontal. Mm. I know it has more to do with my motor cortex or something like that. Uh, but yeah. So as always, everybody, y'all be easy. Try to do what you can to learn about this stuff and for for whatever means that you can try to see if you can <clears throat> fight off these uh these attacks there's ways of doing these things there's ways of doing it you just got to have patience and diligence and just be able to just focus but most importantly you gotta have communication with God you gotta have communication with God because that's the best way that you can be able to fight against this I'm a little tired I'm supposed to be doing some moving today but I'm like I don't you know but that's also them radiating my body affecting my uh, my ability to sleep rest and get a full night's Rest so that my body can, so that my brain can actually, um, you know, uh, recover and stuff from the bullshit I'm dealing with. But anyway, as always, remember, take life one breath, one thought, one step, one day at a time. And remember, you got one mind, one spirit, one body, one God. Peace.